Hello, Shane McCusker here in Intelligent Software. Going to do a quick demonstration of our new Facebook search tool. It's a Google Chrome extension, so you need to be using Google Chrome. Go to our web page, click on the Our Software tab, go to the Facebook search, big blue button, Chrome Store, install the Google search tool on your Chrome browser, and then you'll get a new icon top right hand corner, which is the Intelligence icon. If you want to use the tool, click the drop down and you can search Facebook in all sorts of clever and interesting ways. Uh, you've, you can search people by their name, what they like, what their job is, where they live, who their friends are. Uh, it's it's a, a wonderful way of being able to harness all the information that's stored on Facebook uh, and you can find people in all sorts of interesting ways. For example, say I wanted to find people whose job is software developer and they live in Belfast. Northern Ireland. All I do is put in job software developer present, click the and button, put in the location that I'm interested in, then click on ser uh, search Facebook. It'll open up a new tab with all your Facebook search results. You need to be logged into Facebook and you need to have your Facebook language settings set to English. Now, a common problem on Facebook is that people don't say what it is they do or where they work, uh, maybe not even where they live. But on Facebook, they almost certainly have friends. They almost certainly like things. They may well be members of groups. And that's really the key to searching on Facebook. It's not so much what they say about themselves. It's, it's what they do that tells you more about them. So in this tool, you can search for people's friends. Uh, you can search, not only search for the friends of a specific person, but you can see how that group of friends interacts with any other group of friends. So that means if you know a couple of people who work in a particular company, chances are the friends they have in common also work in that company. Here's an example. Uh, if I click on uh, my uh, tool and then go to friends of, I can hit the drop down and select friends uh, of people that I've recently visited on Facebook and then clicked on opened up the search tool on. So if you want to add people to this list, visit a page, click on the, the tool and then they will appear on the friends drop down. So I can pick a couple of people that uh, I visited recently. As soon as I do that, friends of, I can get the people that they know in common. Very, very powerful way of searching. The people that I find don't have to say where they are, where they work, but if they're friends with a whole lot of other people who work in the same place, do the same job, then chances are they also do that. Or maybe they went to university together and they're university friends, or, or maybe they're part of a social group together. Now, Facebook also has groups, and you can do the same thing there. Uh, we've got two types of group search. Uh, I can search for uh, groups about a particular subject using the uh, group member free text search. So I can find people that are members of a group about a subject. Or if I visit group pages on Facebook, hit the drop down to open up the tool, then I can go for a specific group member of. So here I'm choosing the SUSU, the uh, European Sourcing Summit Speakers Group, and I can find uh, people that are part of this group and interact that with where they live and what they do and who their friends are and all the rest of it. There's all sorts of other filters there. You can search for people by uh, whether they're your friends or they're not your friends. You can do your friends friends. You can search for people by their age, their gender, the languages they speak, uh, where they were a student, uh, pages they visited. So it's a really powerful way of searching Facebook there's, a, there's over a billion people on Facebook, so everybody's there. It's a very, very valuable search tool. Try it out. It's completely free on our web page to, to download it and use it. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoy. Talk soon. Bye.